she was looking for a job and the man of God prayed for her over the phone. She submitted her application to a certain company. They called other applicants and left her out. She has testified that she now has a job. She did not apply for the position, but a friend called her to just come to her new workplace and begin working without even going through the interview process. She had applied for a loan last year. It got approved, but the money didn't go through the bank. She testified that she also received the money. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at half past 6 every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12 every night, and we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. And for those who want to partake in the blessings of the Lord through tithe and offerings, the banking details are shared on our different WhatsApp groups on our messenger groups as well as on our different Facebook platforms. Amen. Amen. Tonight we will get the word of God from the book of Acts chapter 8 from verse 29 NIV. It reads as follows. The spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me? So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. This is the passage of scripture the eunuch was reading. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before his shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. Amen. 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 Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together, believing the word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says that the Spirit told Philip to go to that chariot and stay near to it. What the Bible is talking about there is the Holy Spirit who we have told Philip and Sir Philip go to near the chariot. A chariot, if you want to understand very well, we go to verse number 27 of Acts chapter 8. So he started out and on his way he met an Ethiopian Enoch, an important official in charge of treasury of Kandek, which means the queen of Ethiopians. This man has gone to Jerusalem to worship. That means the Bible is talking about that there was a man who is a Ethiopian, an Ethiopian Enoch. And the Bible says that this Ethiopian Enoch has gone to Jerusalem to go and worship, to go and pray. He's going there to pray because, you know, in the Old Testament, um, there was used to be a temple, a temple where God used to be worshipped. And he have, he, he have gone also to worship in that particular temple. 
and now he was going back home. As he was going back home, the Bible said that God, in verse number 26, the Bible said that now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go to south of the road, the desert that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. The angel of the Lord went to Philip and said, Philip, there is a man. This man had gone had gone to Jerusalem to worship God. This man was hungry for God. Then Philip stopped everything that you were doing. Go to that man. He's worshiping God the Old Testament way. He does not know about the new way of connecting with God. He does not know the new way of worshiping God. Go and help him Amen. out. That man is Amen. hungry. That man is hungry. Amen. He has he have gone miles just to go and worship in Jerusalem. He has taken his time to go and worship in Jerusalem. Just because he does not know that he does not need to go to Jerusalem anymore. Amen. This man does not know that he does not need to go to Jerusalem anymore to worship. He still, he, he still thinks the things are happening the Old Testament way. Amen. And he goes to worship. He doesn't know that Jesus Christ has said that I will destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. Amen. Then the Bible says that Amen. then it was God who has sent an angel, an angel to go and talk to Philip. Philip, go and preach. Go and Amen. tell that man Amen. about the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that he may be saved, so that he may accept Jesus Christ as their his Lord and his Savior, that he may be saved. Amen. As the Bible says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Amen. Then that means this man he's trying to worship God in the Old Testament way because he doesn't know. He needs somebody to tell him. That, you know, there is a new way that God has made in order Amen. to connect with God. That's why the Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse number 13, the Bible says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Anyone who will accept Jesus Christ is going to be saved. He will be connected Amen. with God. He will be able to, to pray and Jehovah God will listen. But the Bible says that in verse number 14, how can they call on the one in whom they have not believed him? And how can they believe in the one in whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they, they preach? Unless they are sent, as it is written, how beautiful at the feet of those who carry, who bring the good news. Then that means the first of all, this man, in order for him to be saved, the gospel cannot be preached by an angel. If the gospel could be preached by an angel, the angel that told Philip to go to this man was just going to preach, and he was going to be saved. Amen. Number two, for this man to be saved, this man, um, it was not the Holy Spirit who preached to this Ethiopian Enoch to be saved because it was the Holy Spirit who talked to Philip to go also close to the chariot so that he can tell this man a good news of Jesus Christ that he may be saved. Amen. Amen. But in order for God to touch this man, God was waiting for Philip to go there, to obey so that he can be used by God and go to the Ethiopian Enoch so that he can preach the gospel and then he could be born again. Amen. Then Amen. This tells us how God 
is so dependent on us to preach the gospel. Amen. Without us, without you and me, the gospel cannot be preached. Amen. There are people Amen. who God want to touch. There are people who God want to save. But without us, angels can preach. Amen. The Holy Ghost can preach. Amen. God is waiting for us to be obedient to the Spirit. Amen. To be obedient Amen. to God so that He can save Amen. other people. Amen. And it is very, very much important for us to understand that that you are very, very much important in preaching the gospel. Amen. It's very, very much important that you are very, very much important to preach the gospel. Without you, the gospel cannot be preached. Amen. Amen. Because don't, I want you to understand that, that, you know, Philip, God did not force him to go and preach. Amen. It was Philip's Amen. choice to go to this man and to obey the, the angel, to obey the Holy Spirit, and to do what God wanted him to do. Amen. The question that I have for us, if an angel of God can come to you today and give you an assignment, will you be able to, are you going to be able to recognize that this is an angel? Can you hear the angel when he speaks? Amen. Or when the angels speak, you won't be able to hear. Amen. If the Holy Spirit gives you an assignment today, will you be able to know that this is the Holy Spirit and you be able to do what the Holy Spirit wants you to do? Amen. Amen. Philip, an angel could talk to him. Amen. Philip, the Holy Spirit can talk to him. And when the angel talks, when the Holy Spirit talks to him, Philip is able to conceive the message and is able to do what the angel and what the Holy Spirit says that he must do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's not that the angel of God is not talking to you. It is not that the Holy Spirit is not talking to you. The angel is speaking. The Holy Spirit is speaking. But when are you listening? And can you take that extraction? Because even though the angel is speaking, some people cannot, are not able to take that instruction. Amen. They are not able to do what the Holy Spirit wants them to do. Amen. But Amen. children of God, we need to be so spiritual. Amen. So that when the angel of God and the Holy Spirit talks to us, we can do what the God wants us to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said that the Spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near. Amen. The Holy Spirit talks to Philip. Amen. And indeed... He goes near. That's what the Bible says that. Verse number 30. The Bible says, Philip ran up to the chariots and heard the man reading Isaiah, the prophet. Do you understand what you are reading, Philip? Ups? This man is reading. He's reading the Bible. Amen. He's reading the Bible in the Old Testament and he's trying to understand and he can't understand what has been written. Because he does Amen. not have the capacity. Amen. I don't know Amen. whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. You know, we receive the capacity to understand the word of God Amen. when you are born Amen. again. Amen. When you are Amen. filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit gives you the ability to understand the word of God. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, you know, you will be reading the word of God and never understood it. And you think the Bible is boring. When the Bible is so wonderful, it's so precious. But somebody without the Holy Spirit will try to uh, read the word of God and never understood it. Amen. Which this man, like this man, he was doing. The Enoch is not that he's not reading. The Enoch have opened the Bible. Amen. 
but when you open the Bible, he can't understand uh-huh. anything. Amen. He's just reading it like a novel. He's just reading it like a story. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's just reading. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. Philip says that, do you understand what you are reading about? Amen. In verse number 31 of Acts chapter 38, Acts chapter 8, the Bible says, How can I? He said, Unless I someone explain to me the it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The Enoch is trying to read the Bible, and he's reading the Bible, he's not understanding what is written. And Philip said, do you understand? He said, no, I don't understand. And then he, he called Philip to come. And Philip was sent by God. Amen. And Philip Amen. explained the scriptures on what is happening and what the scripture is all about. Amen. Because what, was, what he was reading about, it was a, a prophecy of prophet Isaiah. Amen. Which was written long time ago. Amen. Many years ago. Talking about the coming of Jesus Christ. And you know, a prophet is not, you know, like when he was writing about Jesus, it is not as if he was knowing that he's writing about Jesus. He's just writing, he's in spirit, he wrote what he wrote. And you know, but this time, the prophecy have been fulfilled. Jesus Christ have come. Jesus Christ have died. Jesus Christ have resurrected. And the Philip have seen what the word of God is talking about. And to Philip, everything is clear. Amen. And this Enoch does not know what happened. He's blind. He's reading the word of God blind. He doesn't understand anything. But exactly. Philip began to explain everything yeah. to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Child of God, you have heard the Bible, the word of God. Amen. You have experienced the word of God. Amen. You have experienced Jesus. Amen. You have experienced the Holy Spirit. Amen. There are many people out there. Others are like this inner. Others are not even born again. Others are not even trying to worship. They are worshiping other idols. Just because they are trying to connect with God and they don't know how then it is solely our duty and your duty to make sure that you play the role of a Philip. The role of talking about Jesus. The role of talking about God. The role of making these things understandable. When somebody is confused, Mm. planning to be a Sangoma, and you tell them, no, you don't have to be a Sangoma. Yes. I understand what you're going through. I understand the problem that you're going through. You don't have to be a Sangoma. Jesus Christ died for you. Amen. So that Amen. you may be saved. All that you have to do, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Yeah. And you will begin to have a relationship with God. Amen. Amen. I remember... Nowadays, somebody is trying, was trying to look on the, on the social media and many people are going to be initiated to be Sangoma. And somebody said that ah, it's like everybody nowadays is going to be initiated to become a Sangoma. Why? Because most of them, they have spiritual attacks. Spiritual attack. In different ways, in their dreams, spiritual attack, physically, spiritual attack, here and there. And they are confused. And when they are confused, they found somebody said, no, don't worry. You can, that's a spirit. It's a spirit which is looking for you. You you need to be initiated. And they got initiated and they become a Sangoma. 
And why are they becoming Sangoma? They are looking for somebody to tell them that no, if you are having a spiritual attack, you need Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ can deliver Amen. you from spiritual attack. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ can, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You don't Amen. have a calling. <laughs> if you have got a calling, it's a calling of Jesus Christ. You don't have a calling of being a Sangoma. Amen then somebody must talk about these things. Otherwise, if you don't speak, many people will be initiated as you speak. Amen. Many people are still going to be initiated as you speak. And that is not going to solve a problem. It's going to get them. It will get them. Will, it will make them to be, you know, demon-possessed to try to make those demons comfortable but it will never happen so amen the bible said that the devil comes to steal to kill and to destroy amen i don't know whether you are hearing what i'm saying amen amen all they need to do is to accept jesus christ as their lord and their savior and jesus christ is gonna set them free as the Bible says that to whom the Son of God set free is free indeed. Amen. But for them to know about Jesus, we have to play the role of a Philip, of Amen. telling them about the good news. Amen. That Amen. Jesus Christ has died for you. Amen. <laughs> I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Make, make it mean sense, make sense. That when you, you hear, you hear now when you are going to the Good Friday, what is it all about? Amen. It is all there. What is it all about? It's about Jesus Christ. Amen. We have come into the world. As the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever will believe upon him shall be saved and have everlasting life. Amen. But God is looking for a somebody to be a Philip who will listen when the angels speak. Amen. Who will listen Amen. when the Holy Spirit speak? Amen. Amen. And who won't go like as long as I'm born again? Who won't go like as long as I'm saved? Amen. As long as my things are well. Amen. No, Amen. somebody who will talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible says that in the book of Acts, chapter eight. This is the passage of the scripture. The Enoch was reading. He was led like a sheep to be slaughtered, as a lamb before its shear is silent. So he did not open his mouth. Then the word of God, God revealed these things to Isaiah the prophet. How Jesus Christ was going to die. Amen. How Jesus Christ was going to die. And by this time Jesus Christ has done what? Has died. Amen. Has resurrected. Has ascended. Has went to heaven. Amen. Then... To Philip, to, to the Enoch, it seems like it's just another story. He's trying to understand what is the word of God talking about? What is the prophet talking about? The prophet is talking about what was going to happen. By this time, what has happened already? The prophet is talking about that. He's talking about the real thing. And only those who are close to Jesus understand what has happened. 
Only those with the Holy Spirit understand it. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You Amen. need to be bold Amen. enough to talk about Jesus. We've talked about it. There are some people with the Bible. But doesn't know what he talks about. Doesn't know what he says. Amen. They don't know. Amen. To have a Bible doesn't mean that you know what it says unless you are born again. Unless you have got the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then you be bold to tell them what he talks about. That's the reason why sometimes we have gone through the Bible the way we have done. And you understand what the Bible talks about. Then after when you know it, begin to talk about it. Tell them about it. I don't know whether I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Tell them about it. You find somebody twisting the word, twisting the scriptures. You know the scriptures. Why do you know so much? So that you can talk about it. Why is Jesus Christ so real to you? So that you can talk about it. Because I'm sure the way you know the scriptures now, you know it so well to talk about it. Someone have never heard about it. In a correct way. But you have done so. You know it very well begin to talk about it. Most of the time, we are talking about what we are not supposed to talk about. And there is a gospel which we have been commissioned to talk about. May God give you the boldness to talk about it. May God give you the boldness to begin to talk about that word. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. To begin to talk about it. Because that's why God has given you the word of God the way he has done. So that you must begin to talk about it. Amen. That's another reason. So that you can talk about it. Tell somebody like, and become a Philip. A Philip who will be talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That when yeah. somebody is confused, doesn't know what is happening in their life, they don't know which decision to take. You tell them, no, no, it is covered. And this is what it means. And this is what God wants to do in your life. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. They must not be confused close to you. May God position you in the right place in the right time. Amen. To be able Amen. to tell somebody the word of God correctly. Amen. Amen. Because today there is no more Philip. But that Philip is you. You just need to play your part. Amen. And Jesus Amen. said that whoever will talk about me before men. I also will talk about him before my father in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And whoever will be ashamed of me, Jesus Christ said that I will be ashamed of him before my father in heaven. That it is time we are proud. And we are Amen. able to talk about Jesus and bring many to the light. Because that's why he has called you. He has saved you. He has fooled you with his word. So that you can talk about it. I want us to go and pray. Asking God help me to talk about it. Help me to talk about it. Help me oh God to talk about it. Help me to be bold. Take away the fears. Take away the fears. 
Anything which is not of God in my life, in my body, in my career, in our country, in every sector of my life. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! I command them. Come on! Ah! 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 Say I command. I command. Everything to turn around for my good. So let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle progress. Say progress. Progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, we are praying and we are fasting. It's our Wednesday prayer and fasting. Let us continue to pray and let us continue to fast. Uh, as we are praying tomorrow for the grace 
to expand, to take over, and to dominate in every sphere of our life. And you are also saying, we are praying for the veils of many to be taken off for them to see Jesus Christ. And after that, we are believing God for heaven at last. And I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.